August the 4th, 2021. Because you're looking at U.S. satellite imaging right now, and uh, this is called actually the visible red image. You've got some infrared, you've got some satellite imaging in here, and some filters. And uh, I've been doing this a long time, and I'm seeing things today that I've never seen before. A lot of times if you're going to zoom in to a forest fire, you kind of have to get a little closer than what we're looking at now. For example, the West Coast, California, Oregon, or Washington. Guys, look at Northern California right now. Look at this. Fires are north of there into Oregon. And if you look very close across the border with Canada, there's fires in this entire line right there. And for the governors on the West Coast, either you're not asking for the help you need or you're not being uh, granted that help by the administration. I'm not sure. But uh, there's, there's a lot more that could be done that is not being done. The military could come in along with the firefighters, the National Guard, with more aircraft to come in over this area. Or is it intentionally being left alone? But guys, I want you to, again, look at California. We'll zoom in in a couple of places. And then as it loops over, it this thing is coming down into Utah and Chicago. You guys are getting hit hard. But I'm in central Mississippi, and I can see this. If you look very closely, there's you can see the white clouds and then the gray haze. And my sinuses have really been giving me trouble today. I've been outside a lot uh, doing some work. But it, this haze that you're seeing across the south has been pushed by the jet stream that's looping down from uh, below the Great Lakes and is pushing south. We talked about it in the last video, I think. But look at uh, the Great Lakes. Look across to the northeast here at the smoke. Now, remember, there was something in the Bible. You guys can look it up. And if you, if you really can go back in the ancient Hebrew, you realize there was two floods. But this time God said it will not be by flood or water. This time it will be by fire. Is this the beginning and the early warnings of what we're talking about when that angel pours his vial out upon the sun and we're in grand solar minimum now rising into solar cycle 25? But our shields are so weak that all this gamma radiation is being blasted through our weak shields into the planet. You've got a mixture of that, and you've got some man-made problems, people camping or setting fires or whatever accidentally. But this is out of control right now. Again, look at California. This is pushing up into Oregon and Washington, and then an entire line along the mountain ridges here into Canada. And if you go north of here and look further up onto this map, you're going to see a lot more smoke. But look right here, guys. Just look above the Great Lakes. Look at that cloud. We don't normally see this. Now, of course, it's worse localized if you're in California or in Canada, if you're being evacuated. But now this is affecting the entire continent uh, of, the, of North America. But, guys, you need to look and you need to just type in Google fires in Turkey, Greece, okay? The entire European coast is on fire right now. And it it does remind you, and I don't care what you say about Revelation, and when this time it will be by fire. And so, you know, you got the angel that pours out the vial upon the sun, and then you have a group of world leaders that um, are hell-bent on letting this thing play out. If you understand what I'm saying, again, all the way down into Louisiana and Mississippi, if you're suffering today and wondering what, you know, hell, did I get COVID or whatever, you know, you understand what I'm saying. The smoke is getting intense here. Now, it's not as bad as it is in the Great Lakes in the Chicago area. But guys, if you look and we're going to zoom into Salt Lake City, Utah, we've got friends there in Utah. I want you to just see how much it's collected. And 
you can see the Great Salt Lake here. Again, it's uh, obscured by clouds, as Pink Floyd would have said in the 60s. But you can still tell where the lake bed is and where the actual water is. But look at this concentration of smoke. And for my friends there, and one of my best friends is in Utah, um, I hope you're out of this. I hope you can, uh, you're inside where you can filter some of this out. And for, for anybody that's in these areas, if you, and you're using air conditioning or some type of air filter, change it every hour or so. I mean, or clean it. Get that out of there. But look at that. And so we're in the situation, guys, to where we've got problems on the left and on the right, on the top and on the bottom coming from all directions it's called the tribulation of man by man by men and uh, you know sometimes you just get lost for words when you're looking at what we're seeing here i've never seen it this thick all over the nation or all over the planet again look at europe guys just go in and look at the just type worldwide wildfires it would take an hour's worth of video to cover this so, if, again, if you are having problems breathing today, which it looks like about half of the nation may be, your sinuses are acting up, your eyes are watering, your throat's sore, you see why. And we've got a lot of governors and presidents not doing a damn thing about it. I don't, you know, I guess they're hiding out. Who knows? Let's take a look at the wide Atlantic satellite images, and this is the infrared view. That front that's pushed down, if you look into the top left corner of this, has kept a lot of rain just offshore all along the northern Gulf states for the last few days. It's kind of kept us dry centrally, except maybe get a late night sprinkle or a late afternoon sprinkle or, you know, heavy downpour that didn't last long. But this is the edges of the front. Now, off of Africa, you see this large red area to the right of your screen. Uh, it looks dangerous, and it is being watched by the National Hurricane Center, as well as a system that's right here. See where it's red? It's uh, getting very close to uh, the Leeward Islands. Probably will be moving into the Caribbean with the system that's coming off of Africa. I've seen this before. I can't remember the name of the hurricane. I can't remember if it was Michael or the one right before it. We saw the same thing coming off of Africa like this into the rise of the peak of hurricane season. Let's take a look at what uh, they're watching. This is the five-day graphical weather outlook or tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. The storm that I showed you that was, uh, you could see it bright red on the infrared radar is right here and it's expected to move forward. It's a 20% chance of development and then make this right turn i don't know if it will continue this far north because there's a lot of high pressure over the atlantic now and that continues or or that always keeps the storms south or moving west and again a lot of high pressure there the storm here that's over the cabo, uh, cabo verde islands is pretty much rained itself out now, but this, if you notice in the orange, and let me uh, move this around. First notice, there's no X in the middle of this. That's because that is the system that I was showing you on the infrared radar. Very red, very large, um, powerful system has not moved offshore yet. And that's what this is saying. 40% chance of cyclone formation in five days as of 2 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. Tropical wave is forecast to move off the west coast of Africa by late Thursday. Environmental conditions appear somewhat conducive for gradual development thereafter over the far eastern tropical Atlantic through the weekend into early next week while the system moves generally westward at about 15 miles an hour. And the same low pressure, I mean, excuse me, high pressure system that's over the Atlantic is going to keep a lot of this activity moving west as these storms naturally because of their rotation want to turn to the north. If there's no high pressure over the Atlantic, they can do it. But right now, there's, again, a lot of it. Guys, this, the planet is going through some changes because of grand solar minimum. The weather has a couple of problems, you know, whether it's natural or people behind it. 
but there's a worldwide rush right now for certain things to happen. And so we're getting it from the left and right, from both Mother Nature and uh, the other things that uh, control a lot of the things on this planet, guys. But we're watching it. I just wanted to kind of put a video up about the California and the uh, Canadian wildfires and to remind you that we are approaching the peak of hurricane season and with grand solar minimum all the chaos that we see uh, it's no time to take your eyes off this there's a lot going on in this planet right now and there's a rush by all the nations to achieve certain goals i hope you understand that it's a heads up be safe